what's up and we are back with another video um episode four i believe growing up with anime and what can i say man i've seen a lot of anime and there's just sometimes more than i can count but it's a good thing i made a list of this thing right here so i'll see where i got to next so the last one i think i got to was i believe fire force that was a recent one, like 2019-ish. And really, 2019 was really a real, uh, uh, an awesome year for anime. Because I think that was a year that I got into a lot of stuff that I didn't think I would get into. So, excuse me. Going back to the list. Oh, we got some fire ones, bro. So, the next one on the list is Demon Slayer. Now, Demon Slayer is ongoing. We're in season two right now. Um... Before season two, they had a movie, uh, Moving Train, which was a canon movie. And then before that, they had an awesome season one, which is built a riddle with controversy, first of all. So with season one, um, I didn't really get into it like that. Oh, really, I, I was hesitant to get into it because that that animation style that they used, it kind of threw me off because it was a little bit of CGI, a little bit of you know, 3D animate. Well, not, yeah, somewhat 3D animation, but it was like the animation style was like, a, it's kind of reminded me of some other crappy anime. Like, not really crappy, but like, I just didn't feel for the animation style. I think um, Dragon Ball had tried to do it one time and I was like, kind of turned off by it. So I was like, eh, I don't know. But actually I kind of grew to like Demon Slayer's animation style and thoroughly it was because of the way that they used and used it they utilized it so well so like they weren't using it all the time they mixed it up with 2d animation and 3d animation um the cg that they used they were using it sparingly in, in parts where they felt like it would bring out that scene a little bit more so like the snow parts or certain action sequences you would think wow this is a really good anime and they live up to it and the thing is they kept that same animation quality shout out to you foldable they kept that throughout the whole entire season and i was like wow no wonder why this is a success as it is and why it was trending for as many times as it was especially that episode 19 from season one so i was like yeah this is pretty dope and this story as well like they it does a good job that it blends in with the story too so like the story to me is pretty good it's not the best there are times where i'm like yeah i could take this part and i can leave this part not gonna spoil but after it did intrigue me enough to want to read it after the first season which i did caught up to it fully and finished it the whole manga is finished right now so it's just waiting to be animated basically and what i will say is for the story to be you know not the most amazing thing as it is it is still pretty good as far as shonen standards are concerned and it it, it did its thing now mugen train which came up maybe a year or two later because it was announced in 2020 but then it was announced as slated for 2020 but then it had to be pushed back because of covid so it came out a little later than that so moving train was a real real surprise at how good canon content can be in a movie and how beautiful it can look even and moving train really did its part this did so good that i had to buy it bro i seen it twice already i read it in the manga of course and you know i got it right here moving train is just moving train was just that moving they did a good job with it too especially with the acting and the beats of the story itself and how everything led up to its conclusion it, it did an awesome job with moving train and now we're on season two which you know started off rough because they did a whole dragon ball super thing where they retold the movie in episodic form had maybe one one episode where it wasn't 
where it was kind of new information, but not really something that you needed to pay attention to. But other than that, it was just a basic retelling of this, of the anime, of the movie in episodic form. So you didn't really need to watch that. But then after like eight episodes, you get into the new stuff, which is the entertainment arc, and that's ongoing right now. And really, it's about to be finished. So yeah, the entertainment arc right now is Fuego. The animation is still on point. They haven't dropped animation quality at all, and I love it. Um, the acting and the story wise are pretty good too um it's only thing that bugs me with um demon slayer right now is there are some parts where i see the sort of flaws where they're trying to pad a little bit more time into it and it's just minor like minor details that i notice where you know having the character say lines twice or you know do certain things and pad out the scenes a little bit more so they can fill up certain slots but it's not so noticeable that it takes you out of the anime you know what I mean so there's that but otherwise man season 2 has been a straight banger man and I'm guessing based on the slate of how the movie went how the season went whether or not they're gonna go for another movie, another canon movie, since the manga's done, that way they can wrap up manga content a little bit faster, but I, and also at the same time give you foldable and break, because I know those creators are working to the bone, but other than that, man, Demon Slayer has been phenomenal, bro, yeah. and I know there's probably gonna be some pushback, and a lot of people trying not to get in, give into, you know, FOMO, but man, check out Demon Slayer. You won't be disappointed if, if you're looking for a good animation, something to keep you entertained and interested, lock you on the screen. And Demon Slayer is a, a pretty, pretty good choice, man. I would highly recommend that. And there are states as well, so, you know, a lot of anime don't have states, a lot of them in Asia. You know, happy go lucky, but this one, this is the one. Now, moving right along. We got Vinland Saga. Now, Vinland Saga, I was... I think Vinland Saga, this came out the same year as Demon Slayer Season 1. And Vinland Saga was one of those anime that I was big up in, bro. Like, Vinland Saga was that anime that... <sighs> my God, there's so much I could say about <laughs> Vinland Saga. It's just... It's so good, bro. The, the main character, Forfin, Forfin, he's, he's very, very complex. His journey throughout that season is one that you will, that will have you cheering for him, that will have you rooting against him, that will have you questioning his moral compass and have you thinking like, dude, what in the world is wrong with you, right? And then they have the antagonist characters who you can't really call them villains because they have qualities of heroes as well. So you would call them like anti-heroes or, you know, pro to have protagonistic characteristics as well. So it's like, you can't, so you can't really, <laughs> you can root against them, but also you can cheer for them at the same time. Like the writing in Vinland Saga is so on point and phenomenal. And I'm surprised that a lot of people don't know about Vinland Saga the way that I know about it right now. And it came out in, what, 2019? So it's been a couple years since they come out with anything else. Um, I think they just got announced for season two. And, bro, Vinland Saga is on point. I think it was Wit Studio who, is do who did the first season, and they did a excellent job bro excellent job the animation quality the fighting scenes between the vikings and just how good the movement was it was chris it was like boom boom <laughs> in other words like it was villain saga was dope bro and 
I don't even know if I had a complaint about it. Maybe if my only complaint was just it, was, it felt like the stuff with Fourth and in the earlier episodes may have been a little bit too slow, but it wasn't. That's just like a minor complaint, bro. Honestly, you don't even really notice it too much unless you do a rewatch of the series, which I did. And, bro, that's just minuscule compared to all the storytelling and story beats that go on in Villain Saga. It was so good, I had to pick it up, bro. And I read the next start that's supposed to come, which is going to be super fire, bro. And when they animate this, I think they just got announced. And when they animate this, this that story is going to be fire, bro. People are going to really like Villain Saga. And I'm going to be pushing it hard because that's just how good it is. But yes, Villain Saga is dope. Please, please, please. If you like Vikings, I would say if you like Game of Thrones or, or Vikings in general. And this, I think I said it in one of the earlier pieces or I fought this, but if I was to recommend this for like a history class, I would recommend this show for a history class to give like a... A little bit of more context as to how dangerous and how rugged that era of that era was, you know. So, yeah, check out Van Saga Bay. You will not, <laughs> you will not regret it. And I think I'm gonna do one more video or one more. And really, all of these came out in the same year. So the next one is, I think, yeah, Doctor Stone. And Dr. Stone, I wasn't expecting much from this. It just looked, with a name like Dr. Stone, I was just like, eh, okay, we'll see how it goes. When didn't know nothing about it. I think it came out that same year, first season. And Dr. Stone had one of those qualities where it wasn't like battle shonen or like battle tactics, not fight heavy, but the way that they told their story and explained everything through science, it made me more interested in the science of it. I was like, okay. This, this might be a hit and I've been refraining from reading the manga because I know that the manga they're, they're getting into some wild stuff but man D Dr. Stone is without a shadow of a doubt one of those sleeper anime that not a lot of people know and not a lot of people might not get into because they're maybe action heavy but Dr. Stone if you really like good storytelling and like stuff that can be explained and you know, real world application stuff, like with the science that they explain, like they explain how to make soap, and you can actually do it. I've seen like all types of YouTube videos on it, on how to make soap, how to make soda, how to make instant ramen. I think they did, they did another one too, how to make a um, electric wheel, how to make glass. They they did a bunch. They they made a bunch of stuff in this anime, I'm like, ah, yeah, this is gonna be a good one. And I'm curious to try it, but also I know I probably don't need to be touching none of this because it might blow up in my face. So yeah, Dr. Stone is pretty good. The storytelling was good. Animation was okay, but it's like, they didn't really need strong animation with the story. It's actually, I would say the story is what carries this anime. And with the way that they do, storytelling in Dr. Stone and how they did the storyboarding as well. I was like, man, dope, real dope. So yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Um, really ain't got no much, as much to say about Dr. Stone because we're still, well, they were actually waiting on the season three. They finished season two, I think, um, I wanna say last year, 2021. It was either last year or the year before. I think it finished it early last year because it was going through 2020, end of 2020, beginning of 2021. So we're waiting on the season three. And yeah, man, these three anime have just been, was like in that same year, like 2019, where it was just a phenomenal year for anime, man. And then I think there was some more. <laughs> That was also, no, 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 that wasn't that same year, but yeah, 2019 was just a really good year, bro. I didn't, I didn't expect to have all three of those in that same order, but yeah, man, if you're looking for three anime that you haven't seen, looking for something to watch, bro, Dr. Stone's your best bet, man. Get into it. I think 
No, not all of them. I think it's just Demon Slayer and Doctor Stone that has season two, so that way you can just roll right through. And then Villain Song is getting the season two coming up, so maybe you want to catch up and be in time for that. You never know. But that's pretty much it, man. Let me know what you thought. Like the video. Uh, follow me. Subscribe if you want to. If not, then that's cool. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.